This is TV show Chase coming to you with another unboxing video. It's kind of an unboxing video. I've already kind of unboxed it So I can put it on a hang on So I can put it on something to show it to you a little bit easier And this is a prop that I got on eBay, okay And I paid sixty dollars for this prop on eBay It is a Nickelodeon prop It's getting harder and harder to find something from the Nickelodeon era of TV, and this is a nine, uh, I would say, 90s, 2000s prop, I would say, from the famous TV show All That. This was originally sold on PropStore.com, so I don't, I don't know what the person paid for the piece on PropStore.com. I paid $60, don't know what the person was paid, was, they wanted a hundred and something for it. I offered them 60 they took my offer, I was surprised that they took my offer, and it's a really cool piece, um, let me just tell you who it is, Kylie Servins, Ky Kylie Servins, it, it's a, it was a, not a well-known actor on the show, but he was a, you could look his name up and you'll see a picture of him, he wore like glasses, a little more heavier set guy, he was, he was, um, He's the white guy on the show, and he played, I think, around in the in the Earth, in the two thousand series of this of the show. Um, I had to put down. I had to put. I had to put a caption down at the bottom. How well, um, how many seasons he played in from, from what year to what year? I'll put. I'll put a little caption down at the bottom of the screen, <clears throat> so you can know. And then I'll try to put a Google link to his information on Google. So you can look at them. Um, but this came from PropStore.com. I'm going to show you the piece here in a second. I'm just going to show you the certification that I got. So it's a real certified piece. Um, it is from. It is originally from the Prop Store. Unlimited Collectibles. London slash Los Angeles. Certified, cert, certification of Authenticity. This is to certify that the item. Kylie Servo purple shirt had been inspected and is guaranteed to have been used in the production of all that of the tv show all that and so to show you the piece i went ahead and took it out of the little packaging it came in this came in this little packaging here so i went ahead and took it out of the packaging as you see so i could show it to you a little bit better and i went ahead and put it on a hanger until i get my mannequin that is going on and this is a he had a big, it looked like he had a big, big waist, uh, chest area, waist area, and then had shorter arms because he was a kid, so. And this is a M A M T O M T M T O M T O Beverly Hills. M T O Beverly Hills, you can see the tag right there. It is a KS March 2002, so probably. It was probably around that time that he was on the show, I bet. I'm not 100% sure on that. I will, like I said, I'll leave a caption down at the bottom there of when he was on the show. It's a really good looking little shirt. I wish I could wear the shirt. I'd, I'd wear it, but the short the sleeves were too short. But I don't wear any of my movie props, so I put them in, I put them in my collection and, and sit there and enjoy them. And I just wanted to come to you with this video because I wanted you to see this really cool all that piece. So there's not a whole lot of all that stuff out there. There's really not. I mean, there, there's a couple coats, uh, a couple crew coats that are going for three or four hundred dollars, and some autographs and things. But no really cool movie, no really cool wardrobe pieces or props from the show. And I just thought this was cool. I thought y'all would find this cool because I'm a '90s Nickelodeon kid, early 2000s Nickelodeon kid. And I remember him on the All That Show, and I was a big fan of the All That Show. Love the All That Show. That was one of my favorite shows because it was kind of like it was our kid version of of Saturday Night Live. 
for uh, since the kid version of Saturday Night Live, you got to see, you got to hear some great music like Salt and Pepper. I think Salt and Pepper was on there, and Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. And I think people like that were on the show back in the day. And you got to hear, and I think Britney Spears may have been on there. And you got to hear all these really cool groups, and you got to have these skits and these great actors on there like, um, what was it, Farley? Farley? That was on Saturday Night Live and played in Tommy Boy. He was on an episode of, of the show. And then you had Amanda Bynes. You had Keenan and Kel. You had... Um, um, what was it? You, you had... Um, the, the comedian... Um, Okay, no, you had, um, the big Hispanic guy on there. You had him on there, and then you had, um, Nick Cannon. He was on there. Got his start on there, and then you had the Hispanic guy, um, and Gabriel. And Gabriel Iglesias was on there. Yeah, Gabriel Iglesias. He, he, he got his, one of his, his big well-known on the show, all that, so... I just thought this was cool. It's not a well-known actor that was on it. It wasn't one of the big well-known ones. It was kind of more of a non-well-known actor. Not as many people knew this actor on the show. But he was on for a couple seasons. And I just wanted to come to you and show you this piece. And say. And show you something that is, is harder to see. Um, video of. Or find pieces of. Because all that's not very common to find stuff from. If you find something... It's gonna go. It's gonna go three hundred dollars or more for a piece. So, so, this I just want to come in with this piece and show it to you. So, this was TV show Chase saying, "Peace out." Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be notified of any new videos to get uploaded. Once again, this was TV show Chase saying, "Peace." <laughs>